You do not need to work very hard to find all the reasons why something won't work. You'll come up with a million reasons why it won't work. But if you wanna do something extraordinary, if you wanna make yourself proud, you better learn how to shut out those voices and focus on the one or two reasons why it will work. Here's the thing that you can only learn from experience. You have a perspective, you have a point of view, you have a voice and a way of thinking. And so the things that feel right to you, others will shit on. Those outsiders who don't think like you, who don't have your experience, who don't have your tastes or any of those things, all you can do is sit down in front of them and, and hope that what you wanna do somehow aligns with what they think. What if the thing that you wanna do doesn't in any way align with what they think? You are gonna walk away from that conversation thinking that what you wanna do will never work. When in reality, all you've learned is that you are different from them. You will go about it differently than them. They don't see what you see. They don't know what you know. They're not doing what you're doing. That's the only thing you've learned. And so no matter your age or your experience or what you are doing and dreaming and building, know this, only you have the vision that you have. Only you are capable of building it the way that you wanna build it. Only you can share your story in your words for your reasons and no one can argue with you about that. You have everything you need to take the next step. So here's what you do. When you feel excited, when you feel bold, don't ask yourself the reasons why it won't work because you will come up with all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. You know, so many of us make our decisions and live our life by trying to exclude things. We don't run out to make something happen. We come up with an idea and then try to find all the reasons why it won't work. And if somehow all the reasons why it won't work aren't there or don't add up, then we go forward with it. Nothing would ever happen if everyone thought this way. You will always come up with reasons why something won't work. You will rarely come up with a lot of reasons of why it will. But the, the brands and the companies and the entrepreneurs and the, the, the athletes and the rock stars who have done amazing things had a sliver of hope. They were holding on to a vision and they kept falling down and they kept hitting these roadblocks that anyone else would give up on. But they held on to that reason why eventually it will work for them when everyone was chattering in their ears and everyone was telling them it wouldn't work and everyone thought that they were idiots and stupid and a waste of time and money, they held on. And then guess who's waiting in the wings when it all works out? If you go back to like 2006, Tesla was not successful. Elon Musk was not the hero that he is today. They kept having to go back and ask for more money from their initial investors. People thought that he was gonna blow it. SpaceX wasn't where it was. He was in between this thing, right? He had a success and they invested everything he had into these new ventures and they were not working. They were failing. He did one amazing thing. He must have gotten lucky, right? And yet now, 14, 15 years later, whatever it is, we can go like, wow, he's amazing now. He's great. Because here's what he has. He has vision and he has a thing he's pursuing, regardless of whether Mark Drager thinks that he's amazing or not. Whether he's in the valley in between, you know, one success and the next success and people have written him off. He is doing things and operating at a level that most of us can just look up to. And so the writers and the critics and the bloggers and the shareholders and you and I, we can look from afar and we can criticize him and tell him all the reasons why his ideas won't work. But he is holding on to the one or two why it will. What is your one or two reason? What is it that you know will work deep down within you if you can just line up step after step, if you can just make these things happen? You know, you know it's gonna work. And then what can you do to protect yourself from all the doubters and all the haters and all the people who are gonna try and drag you down? Because if you wanna hit your goals, if you wanna have big, scary goals that make you so uncomfortable that you are even embarrassed to talk about them with other people because you think they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. You wanna make those things happen, you better learn to shut out the noise. They kept falling down and they kept fighting and they kept facing, they kept falling down. Listen, life is super messy and if you wanna learn why you shouldn't compare yourself to others because it'll only hold you back, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.